Hi fellow birdies, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm you know, doing a car mukbang at the you know, new Slim Chickens in you know, Bartlett. Now, I'm going to be having a Cayenne Ranch you know, sandwich, along with some you know, fries, with more ranch, because I like ranch. Let's want to try it. And, you know, some Fanta. Let's get to it to review it. So first. Definitely like the fries. It's got you know, seasoning to it. As well as like it definitely has a crunch. It's hard, it's thick. And plenty of salt. Definitely one of my favorite, you know, yeah, fries. Let's see if you guys are worth the range. I'm curious. Goes well with the ranch, too. The boss is perfectly good on its own. I'll be honest, before Crystal told me about it, I'd never even heard of Slim Chickens. But apparently they've got like multiple locations in Memphis and you know surrounding areas. Seems like they're expanding, I can definitely see why. You can't really see behind me, but let me put it this way. It was about 3 o'clock, and I was still in line for like 15, 20 minutes to get on drive through Like, I can't even imagine what it's like at you know, like lunch or dinner. Still, again, I can easily see why. It's high quality. Well, the prices are a little bit, you know, on the higher side for, you know, fast food. Like, I think if I got a, you know, you know meal from McDonald's, I'd probably spend like seven, eight bucks, you know, something like that. For here, it's about, you know, eleven fifty after tax, which isn't bad, but not great. I want that to fall over. Now, I'm not expecting the Fanta to be anything special because at the end of the day, when you're ordering a soft drink, you expect it to taste like the regular soft drink. Not bad. But now, for the main event. The cayenne chicken sandwich. Hoorah. Now, let's see how this one tastes. Definitely got more breading than most chicken I've noticed. Very, it's pretty good. Yeah. Let's see now. I add spice to it, along with, of course, the ranch, because 
I imagine that's probably to partially like prevent it from overwhelming the spice, but still. If I was reading the fries like an eight and a half or a nine out of ten, I'd probably rate the sandwich about an eight and a half. But I think the fries are a little bit better relatively. That's not to say the sandwich is bad. Would I recommend it? I definitely recommend the your fries. As for the sandwich, I think I've had some others that are better, but it's not a bad sandwich. Like, of course, there's plenty of options for sandwich, for chicken sandwiches nowadays because it's so cheap for the you know makers. I mean, well, I wouldn't be surprised if like next time I go to you know, Taco Bell, they're advertising like some kind of chicken sandwich there too. Which again makes sense because the meat's cheap for them to you know, make, and given the pandemic, it's nice to be able to save you know some money on their you know sales. You know, fries definitely have a bit of saltiness to them, which I like. I like salty fries. Now, one thing I wonder is if, and I need to come back here next time, is this their main dish or do they do like so other than chicken sandwiches? Like, because of you know, how crowded the place was, like they had someone you know, in line before I actually got to see the you know, menu, really. Which says a lot, honestly. That. Like, how should I put it? Normally, like three o'clock, when I you know go to a restaurant, I expect it to be like pretty much deserted. But they're just you know on and on and on, and that drive-through. Now, it's been a while since I've done a, you know, you know, car mukbang. So one th and one thing I'm trying to do though is I'm trying to learn the you know technical side, like how to set up this you know, camera and the mount and stuff. Nothing too complicated, I imagine. Well, I 
have to imagine I've done nothing, but nothing too complicated, but it's still something we get used to, so I can do more of these. I don't know if it's just me, but it seems like, you know, with this sandwich, the ingredients are kind of falling off the bun a bit, or like the bun's falling off the ingredients a bit. Like, if I were to go to like McDonald's or, you know, Chick-fil-A, and put the stuff on the bun. I expect the bun to stay together, you know, the whole, you know, thing without falling apart. Definitely like the taste, though. It's so good. I'd say that if you took grade soil and taste, be one of the better ones. If you're also including like whether it falls apart, stick together, so. Maybe knock off like a half point or something like that. <laughs> okay, gotta admit that looks kind of you know, funny. The little, you know, you know, you know, hat, you know top hat and all that. Definitely a good meal. I'd recommend checking out the restaurant if you got one in the area. If not, well, I recommend when you get the chance. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to receive notifications. And we'll see you in the next video. Video. Until next time. Bye, fellow birdies.